Welcome back to Cursed Mining and today we are back to the world of DeFi and talk about Aave. Aave is a decentralized protocol for lending and borrowing crypto. The difference to traditional lending services here is that you are interacting with code and smart contracts, not a third party company or humans. If you know me, I like my magic internet money decentralized. You can use Aave on Ethereum and by now also on Polygon. They want to be adding more chains and options in the future. For simplicity, I'll stay on Ethereum today. To use the DApp that means decentralized application, you just need a wallet which you can connect through a multitude of ways, browser or mobile. I am using MetaMask directly in my browser today. A video on how to set up all of that is linked above. After connecting, you are greeted with the dashboard which will be empty if you have not deposited or borrowed anything. We will do a live example today that means you see what I have deposited there. You can now explore the markets of what cryptos and tokens are accepted to deposit or use as collateral and also what rates you get for lending or also for borrowing on your collateral. Please mind that not every token can be used as collateral at the same time. When I introduce a protocol like that, I'm always a bit wary talking about how people use these. There are limitless possibilities with different risk factors. For once, you can simply earn interest on your crypto. This will be the safest way and will work best with stablecoins as they have the most borrowed demand in DeFi. You'll hear some examples for why next. Very obvious things that borrowing and lending made possible are more or less leverage longs and shorts of various crypto. Let me explain. The bullish strategy, say if you think Ethereum will continue to go up forever, would be to deposit ETH, borrow a stablecoin, buy more ETH from that stable and then according to your risk factor repeat a process depending on how bad you want to leverage yourself. Then, if ETH rises to infinity, you pay off your debt with the profits and have more ETH than before. And of course, this can go wrong too. The other way around, of course, would be an on-chain short. For example, you think Ethereum will drop to say $1,000 again. Then you need to deposit another collateral, like a stablecoin, and borrow ETH. Then sell it for a stablecoin immediately and wait for it to drop. Then when you are happy with the price, you buy back the asset lower, repay your debt and pocket the difference. Of course here again this can go wrong too and you might have to buy back higher to repay your debt. That process would be shorting. Both of these examples are very simple yet intricate mechanisms that lending and borrowing makes possible. Of course there are many other strategies too. Say me for example I don't want to sell the crypto I have deposited there. But borrowing stables against it allows me to use the buying power of my crypto to farm, liquidity mine or do whatever I want with stables without ever having to touch my underlying crypto. And it earns yield itself which is a powerful tool. Aave is incentivizing liquidity at the moment, that means you earn even for borrowing on some coins. And yep, you heard that right, you are paid in order to borrow. This is temporary though, but it's still the case right now. Ok, let's talk some risks. There is and always will be smart contract risks as soon as you connect your wallet to anything. But Aave is one of the oldest and tried and truest of all players in DeFi. I personally rather trust a smart contract than a human itself. But of course, smart contracts are written by humans. One other risk of course depends on the user. You can get liquidated. What does that mean? Say what I deposited as collateral loses value a lot compared to what I borrowed. Then someone else can pay back my debt on chain at a discount and pocket my collateral for that. That is a simple example of an on-chain liquidation and one of the things bots often fight about. So if you sometimes see crazy gas spikes when the market is dipping, liquidation bots are part of that. So of course that risk can be mitigated by borrowing safe amounts and keeping your so-called health factor in check. If it falls below 1, you can get liquidated. You can also repay your debt from your own collateral, swap assets you have in Aave and more, so you're not fully stuck with your positions. With all of that though, you have to keep gas fees in mind. I have to say it's not worth it to do so with very small amounts, say 100 bucks. 
these are not simple transactions but smart contract interactions so you have to keep a token approval and deposit in mind which are not cheap Ave on polygon solves that but for that again you would need to bridge assets at least one time which is a story for another day let me know if you want a video about polygon it was a very basic and quick introduction to Aave and what you can do with the protocol without even talking about the Aave token itself. Besides some more intricate functions like acting as a safety net for Aave itself, it's a governance token yet again. That means with it, you as a user can vote on what happens with Aave in the future, say what new tokens will be listed for deposit and collateral. As you can imagine, there are endless opportunities of how Aave can be used, especially in connection with other protocols. Also, it's not the only protocol offering lending and borrowing and there are other players offering different solutions which are of course combinable. If you're interested in more DeFi videos, let me know below. Of course, I'm never leaving tech and hardware, but the DeFi playlist is one I want to maintain as it indeed is one of the most beautiful developments in recent history. And after mining cryptocurrency, probably one of the things which changed my life the most. Yet, don't forget, if you try it, you are an alpha tester as soon as you connect your wallet to any decentralized app. That's it, let me know what you think and if you have used Aave in the past. All the best to each and every one of you. Happy mining and bye!